beginning of a new day. God has given us this day to use as we want. We can waste it or use it for good. What we do today is important because we are exchanging a day of our life with it. When tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever, leaving in its place something that we have traded for it. So let's make this day a beautiful one. I assure you that this contest is going to be full of exuberance and excitement, and we are going to create beautiful memories. And it's always said, a day is not lost if memories are created. Seven years old. I'm going to tell you a story that there's a lesson in it. My title of my story is Unity is Strength. Once upon a time, there was a father that had three sons. They were always mean to each other and constantly fighting. And the father said, stop. This moved sad in the father a lot. So the father thought for three, four days. He came up with a solution to stop this and teach them a good, valuable, good lesson. The father gave each son one stick and said, can you break this one single stick? They tried and broke it. They broke the stick and said, it's too easy for us, and they broke the stick. for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One Saturday morning, he ate through one chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop. Anna loved Easter. She loved the eggs her grandmother brought. She loved the flowers also. Her, grand her mother said, these eggs are very old. Her grandma, her mother gave a blue egg. She said, this blue egg, grandmother gave it to you. Anna said, is that a music box? She opened it and, and she was saying, is that a dancing goose? She went next to her grandmother and she said, why is there a dancing goose? inside a blue egg. Her grandmother said, there's an old story about this goose. One day, Emily go, went to school and drawed a picture of a tree and circles. She, when she drew the circles, everyone laughed at her because she, it looks like eggs and also of her trees because they look like um, mashed potatoes on a stick. Next day, her mom and brother looked at them and they s and they had a great idea then the next day they gave her her dad came and gave her a new piece of paper he said once upon a time there lived a merchant and his three daughters one day the merchant said i'm going on a long journey so he asked what their daughter wanted on his return the first and second daughter said they wanted lovely dresses, but the third daughter, Beauty, said, Father, get me a rose. 
So the merchant said goodbye and left for his journey. The merchant got all the things for his elder daughters, but he couldn't get a rose for his daughter, Beauty. When he, when he was coming back home, he found a huge castle. When he on earth like my school is the only place where insanity rules. I mean, the teachers are normal, but the kids aren't. They're different and very weird. I may be the only normal kid on campus. Well, you may be wondering, how are these kids weird? Well, let me give you an example of Linda McCheesy. You see, the McCheesies love photography. In fact, Every single member of the McCheesy family is a professional photographer. A few weeks ago, we went to their house for dinner and we took our professional camera to take a photo. My mom insists we should take our memories with an actual camera. But that camera was 30 pounds and I was not happy. Hi, my name is Pooja Patel. My father is a physicist and my mother is a biologist, but there's absolutely no chemistry between them. But food binds us all together in our family. We love to eat and our colons are like the big biofuel factories. Since our home is so full of science, whenever I need help with my science homework, I either go to my father or my mother for my doubts. Once I didn't quite get the evolution of mankind. So I asked my dad. My dad made me sit down and talk to me about apes, chimpanzees, and our ancestors from whom we evolved. When I asked my mom the same question, she started with a big bang theory to unicellular to multicellular organisms. I'm going to tell you a story about a boy who came from my hometown of Kerala, India. His, na his pet name is Kutin. Now, why did I choose Kutin? Because I couldn't choose an American name. But for other reasons, I will tell you um, his name. He had a friend named Babu. He went to the same school as Babu, a small, regular public school, nothing really special. His fam Kutin's family was very poor. They couldn't buy him books, but he was still a very, very bright student. So there was once an old farmer, and his name was Jake. He had a, uh, a son. He had a son called, uh, named Luke, and. Uh, Luke was a person who had finished college, but he still didn't find a job yet. Uh, Jake was a poultry farmer, and he had many chickens in his farm. But every single night, one, uh, one or two of Jake's chickens would go missing. And Jake always thought that it was a fox that would take his chickens. So one night, he stayed near his chicken coop, and waited for the fox to come so that he could confront the fox. First of all, thank you very much for participating in this Talking Bee. So all our team uh, did a lot of hard work to 
create, prepare, and publicize, and invite all the parents and kids. So we have one more big event coming up. So I am here just to announce about it. So that is Star Kalakar. So you know, uh, I mean, most of you people might heard about it because this is not the first year we are uh, conducting this Star Kalakar. This is fourth year. So for the last three years, we have been conducting only within Texas. So first we started with Dallas, and then uh, we went ac across other four, four major cities. And we have completed successfully three years. And this year, we are going beyond Texas also. Yeah, I was just uh, going to say that the quality was <clears throat> so up there that I wouldn't even want to call it uh, judging. I don't know what the word would be, but I'm kind of having a hard time saying that I'm judging this. Uh, <laughs> I think it's more of uh, you know listening to it, enjoying it, and then uh, you know just uh, knowing that there is uh, such a high quality of uh, participants. So please, uh, I don't think I should be called a judge. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Thank you. many, many, many years ago um, in the old country uh, of Guyana. Uh, just a little bit of history of myself. Um, I've been in the for over 45, 46 years now. Uh, my forefathers uh, came from North India back in the 1800s, 1840 to be precise, uh, went to South America. They got 250 uh, North Indians, South Indians went to the West Indies. So I'm the fourth generation from the forefathers of India. We came to the United States, my dad in the, in the 60s, and uh, my, my kids were born in the United States. And I'm a very a religious person, and it so happened that my son uh, got married to a girl in Hyderabad, uh, Tilugu. And, um, and she was coming. It's a long process to get some of the, some of the United States, uh, and she'll be here in 10 days. So. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Shala Talori. Uh, thanks, Srinivas Garu, and thank you, uh, Manohar Garu. Now, uh, I come here from Jacksonville, Florida. And this is my first time here in Dallas, and I just loved it. I drove here from Pl Flower Mound, and I they, what do they say? Everything Texas does is big or something like that. Yeah, that's how I come from a small town, St. John's, Florida, and this is huge for me. So what is PEER? PEER is People for Urban and Rural Education. What we do is bring opportunities closer to children who cannot go look for them because they cannot afford it. So um, uh, Srinivas uh, mentioned Facebook. And the reason could be that I um, used social media to reach thousands of children. Uh, we helped about 25,000 children. 150 plus public schools in Telangana and AP. Um, and we continue to do so, and this was all done in 18 months. Uh, so it's been a success story in a way. We always hear about social media addiction and everything negative about social media. Yes, we have to be cautious because I see everybody here is under 18, right? Uh, but uh, it can be used constructively and productively as well. And Pure has been uh, one example of that. Thank you.